things, you know, we didn't think we'd sell any, and, you know, lo and behold, two weeks later, it sold out, and, and man, I still can't believe that, um, you know, May 5th, 2014 is going to be 30 years since we did that first issue. It premiered at a very small Comic Con in Dover, New Hampshire, and I know there's pictures of that in the documentary, but, um, do you want to show Clip? You show yeah. a clip? Yeah. See a clip of the documentary? Okay. So this is really special because no one has seen this. No one's seen it. Nobody. Don't tell anyone you saw this, especially don't tell the guys back home that we're working on it. It's probably still wet. Is the print wet? <laughs> print. Yeah, the print is wet. He says the print is wet. All right, just play it. Don't tell them I brought it, okay? We got into talking about these bus kicking turtles. Yeah, you know, the bus would be going along Route 108, I think it was, between Durham and Dover. Suddenly this turtle would jump out from the side of the road, kick the bus really hard, spin it around on its axis, and you'd be heading back the other way without even knowing it. And then we just got a real kick out of you know, talking about these bus kicking turtles, and we would laugh uproariously when we talk about them. And I think that is where turtles came from. shoots out of the page. Too many happy accidents. We had no idea. They're kind of like the cartoon Beatles. They were so unbelievably huge. But it's a story that really tells you that anybody can be successful. There was nothing else like it. I think if we sent uh, the four turtles and the raft over to Saudi Arabia, we might get things done a little bit quicker. We're talking teenage mutant ninja turtles here. Should it have happened? Do the odds are infinitesimally low, but it did. Right on the spot at that time, they offered me an inky job. Nothing about it was planned beyond how do we do a 40 page comic and make it at least halfway decent. Work a little bit, play uh, airsoft rifles, shoot each other, play basketball. One of the guys used to, used to refer to it as we have to take an occasional work break. Then the turtles went mainstream in a way that nobody could have expected. I know I've got to represent the turtles. This this is just this is going to be it. And uh, I would have done any deal with them. And one particular day, 
these black and white comic books came in about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is very neat. first ones, there were no drawings involved. I just did it in 3D and deciding to cut that up as a posed figure and actually realized that that makes a better figure than one that's straight up and down and you put the pose on it. And so really, especially those first five episodes that set the table for everything else that followed. We also produced live entertainment. In fact, we opened up a Radio City musical. They were producing a rock and roll turtle tour called the Coming Out of Our Shells Tour. So they needed anybody who could go out and put on the costumes and do the advance work. We had convinced ourselves that we were going to drop out of school and become Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's what we did. And so we went up on the roof of this thing and it was like, it was like side on. Like, it, it was like we, we were up on the roof in these turtle outfits as the, just like a sea of Mexican children. We just, and we, we had pizza to throw down at them and t-shirts. You want to give them distinct personality. We, we look to you to start. I shred that. This is some of the acid leaves. We can we can make a movie like this. The major part of movie making was uh, invented for the first time. Forward handspring, then a flip, and then drop through a manhole cover. Steve had unbelievable vision for his work. I mean, um, it, they, you, it was a real eternal belief. It's like they reached into my brain and Kevin's brain and pulled out what we felt these turtles should look like, and they, then they did it. You should write it with Kevin. Would you be interested? I don't think I've said yes faster. They did like the reincarnation backstory. I was just like, what? I what is this? What? That's like the best idea. Without a doubt, turtles affected my life. I was obsessed with the turtles. You know, everybody wanted to be the turtle. Oh my god, I want to be this one. I want to be that one. It's just real to me. Every school had like almost every class built with Ninja Turtle fan. I remember walking downstairs Christmas morning and I got Leonardo. So it's really like everything the kids would want. But it pretty much took over the world. When you read the turtles and they hit you, then you're a fan for life. And I think that is where the turtles came from. So that's, it's all your fault, thank you. That's uh, about eight minutes of the 240 hours that we have edited down.